All right, welcome back. All right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take all of this and turn it into all of this. Let's get started. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Dave Gary here, this vet cooks, former U.S. Army 11 Bravo infantryman. And uh, welcome, welcome to this uh, episode and happy holidays. Hope everything's going good where you are. And again, Thank you to everybody that stopped by, watches, comments, everything. Thank you. Hey, so what are we doing today? Real simple. Today, well, we're going to do some slow cooker beef short ribs. Yeah, real simple. It's it's a classic beef short ribs. Uh, you can put them on a, on a Dutch oven, throw them in the oven, uh, slow cooker, whatever you want. It's awesome. But uh, making this one here, it's Sunday dinner. I know it's a little early, but it's Sunday dinner nonetheless. And uh, hey, it's the holiday, so why not celebrate a little bit? Now about these short ribs, um, you know, prices, prices being what prices are, you know, um, you know the, the recipe I'm using calls for four pounds. So that's going to run you about 20, 20 to $30, depending on where you're at, depending on what you're looking at. Uh, but hey, you know, it's worth it. It's the holidays. If you can do it, do it. Uh, you can probably get by with, you know, half of that. And again, it works. <clears throat> Because again, you want to serve it over potatoes or mashed potatoes or just on the side, some of those red red potatoes. I love those little red potatoes. It's all time classic for me. Alrighty, so uh, let's go ahead. Let's make some uh, short co uh, slow cooker short ribs. Here we go, let's get started. All right, here we got uh, four pounds or just over four pounds of short ribs. Got these longer ones here. Well, they, we should have gotten them cut at the store, but hey, I mean, you, you see the package, it's they're just too big. It's one big short rib, but you can get the butcher to chop them up there at the store, cut them up in half or in thirds, either way. Well, the first thing we need to do is to get some kosher salt all over the meat. Plenty of that, don't worry, across all of them, across everything. Don't worry, we'll turn them here in just a second. in triple speed i got to put in the uh just some salt and we're just going to make sure to put them all sides and some pepper on the other side make sure we get all of that covered again nothing fancy we're going to let it sit here once it's all said and done but uh make sure we get all of that under control all right all right so now it's uh it's time to chop the veggies and well the onion and the mushroom actually so uh Again, through the modern miracle of technology, we'll go ahead and speed this up and we'll get this uh, taken care of. And we'll do something else here in the meantime or at the end of this. All right, it's time to make those picks. And you know what we got to do? We got to go backwards before we go forwards. So uh, let's get started. Let's take a look at last week. Went five and ten. Yikes! Yeah, but at the season, I finally broke uh, triple digits: a hundred uh, wins or rights and 108 wrongs. Let's get started. Thursday night, Los Angeles Chargers take on the Vegas Raiders. Giving this one to the Chargers. All right, now Saturday we got some football games this Saturday. The Vikings take on the Bengals. Giving this one to the Bengals. All right, the Steelers. Come on, there we go. The Steelers take on the Colts. Giving this one to the Steelers. And the Denver Broncos and the Denver Bro come on, it's a little slow. The Denver Broncos take on the uh, Detroit Lions and giving this one to the Broncos. Uh, pay no mind to what's going on in the background. All right, Sunday, here we go. The Atlanta Falcons take on the Carolina Panthers. Giving it to the Panthers. I know, giving it to the Panthers. All right, the uh, Chicago Bears take on the Cleveland Browns. The Browns ha are taking the W on that one. Let's see, the next game, Battle of the Bays. Battle of the Bays. Tampa Bay takes on Green Bay at Green Bay, giving this one to the Buccaneers. All righty, let's see. Next, oh, East Coast matchup. The Jets take on the Dolphins in Miami, giving this one to the Dolphins. All right, AFC South, finally. Uh, Houston Texans, whoa, what happened here? I messed up. Oh, yeah, New York Giants take on the Saints, giving this one to the Saints. Got ahead of myself. There we go. And the Houston Texans, there we go, take on the Titans, giving this one to the Texans. I mean, it's they're gonna they're due for a W. The San Francisco 49ers travel to Arizona, take on the Cardinals. 49ers take the W on that one. Alrighty. The Washington Commanders. Los Angeles Rams, giving it to the Rams. 
All right, this one. It's got to happen. Dallas Cowboys travel to Buffalo, take on the Bills, giving it to the Bills. They're at home. No cushy stadium for them, or indoor stadium. The Eagles take on the Seahawks in Seattle, giving this one to the Eagles. Baltimore Ravens travel to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars, and the Jaguars take the W. All right, that's Sunday night. Monday night, Kansas City Chiefs travel to New England to take on the Patriots and giving it to the Chiefs. Again, they are also due for a W. Hey, there's no bye teams this week, so uh, nothing to worry about there. All right, let's, uh, let's get back to finishing this whole thing up here. All right, let's go. Come on. Alrighty, so what are we doing? We're quick. We are quick frying the uh, the short ribs, and again, we're just gonna a couple of minutes on each side, starting with the bone side up. Okay, so we're gonna get the meaty part first. Then on each side, about a minute, minute and a half on each side, and then the bone side down again. All we're doing here is just trying to seal in the uh, the juices into the uh, the meat. That way, it doesn't. Uh, we're not cooking it all the way through. We're just trying to seal it in. That way, when it comes time, it is slow cooking. The juices stay in, but they cook as well, but they don't get to seep out uh, into the uh, the sauce. So uh, there we go. All righty. So now there they are all in the pot. And that's what we've got. So now they're all in the slow cooker. And if you look, um, all sides are done. And we want to keep this below the rim because we don't want it to go above the rim. We want everything to cook. Cook now. Back in the pan that we were frying the uh, ribs in, we're going to dump in our potatoes and uh, potatoes. There's no potatoes here, folks. No potatoes. Our onions and mushrooms. And we're going to go ahead and um, slowly just uh, cook them in there. And we're going to eventually add the paste, the tomato paste. All right. So there we go. And work them in. And you're just going to let them, you're going to let them render down a little bit. You're not going to let them go too, too far, too, too long. Um. So again, occasionally stirring. It's that darn fly. I don't know where it came from. All of a sudden, it's wintertime and there's a fly. Beats me already. But um, there we go. Go ahead and let them get in there. You notice I'm not covering it up. I'm just letting it cook on its own. Let the moisture evaporate, evaporate a little bit. There we go. And uh, there we go. Now I'm getting ready to put that away there. Oops, get that stuff off of there. And get ready to add the uh, tomato paste. So go ahead and take that out of the can there. Yeah, there's got to be a way. And I was watching this thing um, and I saw this and I go, you know what? I'm going to do this the next time. Apparently, take all of the tomato paste out in teaspoon, uh, one teaspoon at a time of tomato paste. Put it on parchment paper, flatten it down and then, you know, lay another layer of parchment paper, a little piece of lar get a long strip of parchment paper. There you go. And at one end, start from there, put a little tablespoon or teaspoon of tomato paste and then fold over the paper to cover the the paste and another teaspoon and so on and so on. Then freeze it. Put it inside a freeze uh, Ziploc bag and freeze it. And there you go. Now, whenever you need tomato paste, you can pull out one tablespoon at a time or teaspoon at a time, however you measured it. And it's already easier. So again, and it serves, you know, it'll last a while because you're frozen. It's frozen and it saves you that heartache of what you're seeing here with me taking it out of the can. And uh, again, it's not going to lose anything. It's all just frozen it's tomato paste there it is I could fast forward a little bit now we're going to add the garlic now i got me this little new fandango little machine trying to work it out for the first time and while i like i got the smaller one versus the bigger one uh, i like it in that it it's quick you know minces that that garlic down real fast and all the juices and everything that you don't lose it the downside is you see what's going on there is as i'm pushing down the little plunger the garlic meat or the, the clove as it, it breaks down, it starts going up the sides on the inside. So you end up losing uh, to the outside. Yeah. So that that's the downside. But what am I doing here? I think it's like three cloves of, three cloves of garlic. And there we go. I try to keep them about the same size. Yeah, there's another one. Or is that four cloves of garlic? I don't know. I need to look at the, uh, at the menu, uh, at the menu, at the directions and the ingredient list. But there it is. It's all in there. Now we're going to add the beef broth. All right. This thing calls for three cups of beef broth. All right. So uh, when it, what I did this time is I went ahead and I'm pouring it right straight into a one cup container. And there we go. And again, we'll let it gloop gloop all over or whatever you need to do, however you need to do it. But there we go. Cup one, cup two. Come on, count with me. We're at two cups. 
There it is. There's two cups, and we're gonna go for. I know it's a little short, but uh, no, no worries. You know, I don't go to the brim. All right, but there we go. But we're gonna make up for that in just a moment. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and let that three cups of broth into. And I use that Swanson, folks. This is the time of year. If you want to stock up with some beef broth, this is it. It's it's on sale. Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and let it give it a little stirry stir. Yeah, there we go. We'll get a little stirry stir. And come on, we'll go a little bit here. Now, uh, again, we want to make sure that the um, the broth or the paste breaks down, gets out there, and you see it, it's already nice and red. The broth gets out there, and that pesky fly. I better do this before it gets out of control. There we go. Put the lid on there. Alrighty. And um, was I saying yes, yes about the 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 the, uh, the cooking in the same skillet. Well, again, we're going to use up all that oil, the olive oil. That's what I used, olive oil, and then all the the rendering, the fat that came out of the beef and all of that. So it's going to give it a good little flavor. And we're just going to let this uh, come up to temperature. And then it starts to get a little rolling boil. So we're good. We're good. Don't worry. It's all good. And now, doing a little Robert Mondavi Private Selection Cabernet Sauvignon. I hope I said that right. Anyway, um, the recipe does not call for it. I like a little bit of wine in it to give that little aromatics. Other people like more wine in it. Again, it's up to you. There's no rule. You cook your way. Make it yours. All right. So what I'm getting at here is just pour what you need. And I just I didn't pour a lot, but um, again, it's just enough to give it a little aromatic. You know, change the the uh, profile of the uh, of the uh, the liquid here and the, and the onions and the mushrooms and the tomato paste and the beef broth and now the wine. And uh, there we go. So we'll let that cook in a little bit. We won't let that sit too too long. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure it's all nice and stirred in. And then we're going to go ahead and get ready to transfer over to the slow cooker. That's it. That's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and look at the slow cooker. Let's take the uh, lid off. There they all are, nice and ready to go. And we're going to go ahead and pour in, there you go, the onions, the mushrooms, the tomato paste, the beef broth. And, yeah, let's get back here. Make sure you cover all of this. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so you see it's not totally filling the entire pot. So that's a good thing. But don't worry. All the juices that are going to come out of the meat, all the juices that are there, uh, the, the the water that's in the onions, and the it's all going to render down. It's going to be nice. You'll see it here in a little bit how well this looks on the back end of all of this. Six hours later. No, not six hours. I think we'd like the five hours at um, on high. We did five hours on high, if I'm correct. Alrighty, there I am adjusting that lid, but again, don't lock it down. Make sure those little hooks are not in place. All right, we got everything in there. We're going to have to wait a little bit. So let me take this opportunity again to thank everybody for stopping by and watching on the YouTube channel. It is a lot of fun. Great comments saying, hey, my picks, you know, they're my picks. Uh, they might be wrong sometimes. Well, wrong a lot of the times lately, but hey, might also be right. You never know when it's going to hit, but hey, it's a lot of fun and we're just having fun with it. So again, thanks a lot in those comments. Yeah, I know the Jets, but hey, they're playing the uh, the Texans as I'm I'm recording this. And again, without read and express permission in the NFL, I won't talk much about it. Just that at the half, it's zero zero. Let's see. Let's see how the rain holds out and see what that does and see who comes out on top. I did predict uh, Texans, but hey, you never know. Hey, listen. Anyway, so again, thank you again for watching, uh, veterans. It is the holiday season. You know, they say it's like the most difficult time because it is it really is for everybody not just veterans but hey veterans especially you if you need to make a call make a call 988 when they answer press the 1 988 that's the veteran crisis line and uh, don't hesitate dial 988 and uh, where is it uh, it should be over here there let me scoot over there it is now it's really on the screen so uh, again let's uh, make the call when we need to and uh, Again, you don't have to be enrolled in VA benefits to for uh, or healthcare to contact to connect. So reach out. You can also text. You can text at 838-255. 838-255. Just text them. They'll talk to you. You'll talk to them. Let them know what's going on. Hey, that's what they're there for. So again, make sure you make that call. Definitely want you to make that call without a doubt. Um, it's the holidays. They'll be over before you know it, and then we got the other year, and then the holidays will come around again. So either way, at any point in time, don't hesitate, make that call. It's not just for the holidays, it's all year long, 24-7, every day, 365. Make the call. 
Alrighty, listen, um, again, thanks everybody for watching. Happy holidays. Let's let's wrap this up. Let's get back to mm, deliciousness. I mean, you can smell it. Well, I can smell it, but let's get back to that. Alrighty, let's take a look. Oh, look at that. That looks good. You see all the juices down there. It's all good. You see the onions, mushrooms. It's all looking so, so very good. All right, let's uh, take a look here. Let's pull one up. And hopefully the bone doesn't uh, it doesn't fall off the bone. But if it does, hey, no one's going to complain. There it is. All right, it's holding on. It looks good. All the meat looks good. All right, let's get that prep. Let's go ahead and uh, let's get this uh, plated. Let's go ahead and get this plated. Let's get, let's get to the end. All right, there it is. You saw it. You saw that it came out of there. We did, uh, like I said, we did some potatoes with it. So that's really going to be nice. Um, again, here it is. And you saw the the uh, what's that called the cover art so it's got the plate here that's where it's coming from potatoes just real simple boiled cut them up boiled them a little butter a little parsley mm, delicious and then the um, the um, oh my <laughs> the short rib but it's very tender I mean I'm not using a knife or anything I'm just using the fork there it is Mm, it just falls apart. Mm. Again, I added wine. Again, however much you like. You know, a little, a lot, whatever. Very subtle. The mushrooms, the onions, all here. Mm, very good. Very tasty, very quick. And again, it's a holiday dessert. A holiday dessert. It's a holiday meal, but then again, it's a Sunday meal. So, um... You know, make it yours. Do whatever you need to do. Make it yours. It's, again, short ribs, pricey, not pricey. Again, it just depends on what you can and cannot afford. But uh, work with it. Again, the ingredients, everything else is awesome right behind it. So listen, I'm Dave Garrow. Uh, you got my picks, and uh, this vet cooks.